And if you've got a well-being economy, you want to live as long as possible in well-being, don't you? So it's, it is definitely um, a change and shift, not just in we want to live longer, but we want to live better. And for me, immortality is not just about the quantity of life, it's the quality of life. Having a mortal life is living from the eternal realm, living from the knowledge of who I actually am, from that eternal perspective. Therefore, it's having the abilities of non-linearity and multidimensional reality and all of that. It's not just, well, I'm going to, why would I want to live longer in a bad state? You know, I don't want to live forever being sick but just not dying. I want to live in wholeness and complete well-being of body, soul, and spirit. Therefore, it's more than just not dying. It's actually living a, an abundance of life while we are alive. Jesus promised abundance. You know, I've come to give you life in an abundance. So it's that, having the fullness of life, and all that that means restored, which is what the restoration of all things is about, is restoring everything back to God's original purpose and reconnecting us to creation. Because creation was designed to work with us and function together with us, not against us. But when we decided to walk away from God, we walked away from our sonship authority towards creation. And we lost connection to creation because creation itself produces life energy fields for us to live in. The solar system provides energy or is designed to provide energy fields for the earth to live in, to work together, to be a harmony and to be working in that harmonious relationship. Well, all of this has got out of sync. So there's a lot of a restoration needed to bring things back to the original condition that God intended. The condition that Adam and Eve had when they lived within the garden, which was living in the overlap of heaven and earth. You know, there wasn't the separation with the, between the spiritual and the physical realms. They were in they were in in symbiotic relationship. They were working together. Adam chose to walk in independence and that relationship with creation, the relationship with the spiritual realms was disconnected. Jesus came to reconnect it and to restore it, which is why he took back the keys of death and Hades and brought about life and immortality through the good news. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.